I thought today being the first day of spring, the beginning of the spring equinox, would be a wonderful time for me to do my first three card reading with you. It will be a reading of past, present, and future. I want you to take some time to think of a question that you may have, and I will let the cards help to answer the question you may have right now. The spring equinox occurs when night and day are more or less equal length. There is a tension between light and dark as balance is sought and winter energy makes way for the spring. This festival is the time for hares and rabbits, which are sacred to the fertility goddess. This is the ripest time to bless your seeds or grains before they are planted into the earth. I have in front of me today in my mortar lavender. I have incense of sage to cleanse the air around me. I have thoroughly shuffled the cards three times. I will lay them out in front of me and let my fingers run across them until three of them pop out. Those will be the three cards of past, present, and future. I'm going to let out some scent of lavender and cleanse the air once again with my sage incense. The first card we have is the Ten of Pentacles, upside down. The second card, Four of Wands, upright. And the third card is Two of Cups, upside down. Looking at this right off the bat, I feel like you've seen something in your past. Something misfortunate, maybe within a marriage of your parents or with a career choice of a parent. This caused you to exercise caution. This turned out to be a good choice because card number two, the four of wands being upright, tells me that you have some sort of peace and harmony where you're at right now with what it is that you are asking about. Now with the Two of Cups being the third card for the future, I think of this as a warning. It's upside down. So it's saying that there may be an imbalance of self coming. Um, this would be because of going after some kind of a false love, maybe with a person or a career choice. I do feel like this is going to be something with somebody that could be um, a disunity because of a misunderstanding. I would take this as a warning to keep lines of communication open, especially with people that you're going to be in a relationship with, whether it's love-wise or career-wise, because you don't want an imbalance from where you're at right now. Uh, it could cause your relationship with this person or career choice, it could cause it to fail which would take away from the peace and harmony that I feel that you have now, especially coming from something you saw in your past. You saw where it could bring you, and you made the right choices to get to a place of accomplishment. I think all of this ties in really well, actually, with the spring equinox bringing new life, just a refreshing time of year. You've learned from the past, 
you have a warning of something in your future and the peace and harmony you have right now is just going to increase if you continue to learn from things that you see not everybody always is able to learn from watching from others mis misfortune if you're able to see things and learn from them, I think you will continue to also stay in a state of harmony and just continue to have more accomplishments. I think this is a very positive reading. I hope you'll come back and join me for another.